Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome everybody to a little bit of a new game. Um, I, I played this a uh, couple of months ago. Uh, well, more like a couple of months ago. It was like five, six, seven months ago. And uh, when I refreshed my computer and started it from the uh, old version, I... Uh, Excuse me. I I didn't download it, and uh, and totally forgot about it. And the reason why I'm also doing this video is to get everybody else that have that has not played this uh, a chance to kind of get into this game and kind of learn the aspects of it instead of just jumping in there and just don't know how to do it. So. I guess you guys are probably thinking well, what kind of game we're talking about here. No, it's not Call of Duty. No, it's not World of Warships. No, it's not Train Simulator. It is this one right here. Dota 2. Uh, there is a Dota 1, or just plain Dota, uh, but there is a Dota 2. So we're going to click on that and we're going to open that up. And we're going to have something like this. And there you go. So this is what you're going to be seeing when you open it up. First things first is this tells you the unique players in the last month. This how, this tells you how many players are uh, or how many people are playing in games now. And then of course this is the time. Uh, over here you have uh, not looking for party members. You can change your status. You know. Um, you know stuff like that. Uh, friends, you can use your friends. So any friends that you are that are that are playing this will pop up there. And then here is yours. Uh, this is your your uh, your party. And then your here is your your chat. If you want to chat to anybody in Evanston or or use for commands. Um. So before we get anything more, we what we will do is we'll go to heroes. And these are all the heroes that you can choose from once you get further into the game. Now, I don't want you to, I don't want you to go through all these and, and, and you know, you know, try to pick your one or or whatever. We're not going to do all that. I'm just showing that these are your heroes. Your heroes is just your character. That is what it is. Each each character does different things as you can see and before they updated it it was pretty horrible they just pretty much had a scroll uh, left or right and they had all the heroes there you couldn't really do anything much to them uh, but here as you can see they uh, uh, they what they did is they categories them so all these heroes up here in this bracket uh, has strength. All these characters over here has agility. All these characters over here have intelligence. So think of this as a grid. Then you have a grid down here. Now what this does is this you can click on for whatever you want. And it is pretty much like a something that you want to take away. So if you want anything, that's you can just be here. But let's just say you just want a jungler. These are all the characters that have that that does that. Or you want a disabler. These are all the characters that do that. Now of course you might find couple like Sand King that does both that's fine that's just what they do or Nuka same thing and so on and so on and so on and then you're also going to do you know carry support you know meal or range each one of these will determine on what character what they can 
and cannot do. And obviously the ones in the gray is ones that is not a meal. And all that means if you haven't played any fighting games or or stuff like that, it's just it's close fighting combat. So instead of shooting from afar, such as like a gun, uh, you have to get up and personal with them. So that's what that is. So always keep that in mind. Uh, we're not gonna do anything up here yet. Now you can always. You can always watch. There's always tournaments and 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 games going on that you can watch. Um. Then also you can go to learn. This guys is the most important important thing of it all. Don't just jump. Don't just click right here and play Dota and think you know how it is. This game is totally different than any other shooting slash fighting game that you know of. It's not just going out there, balls to the walls, kill everybody and you win. When you kill somebody or you kill the enemy, they come, they respawn. So there is always going to be the same number of characters or players no matter how many times you have killed that person so the whole purpose of this is you have teams of, of, of about six or seven maybe eight on each side you start off on each side of the map and you have to destroy each other's barracks it, it's just basically like their castle once you have destroyed their barracks you have won the game so I can tell you now, if this is a game that you think is going to be 5-10 minutes, I can tell you now, no. If you're on a really good team, you could be playing this for a good hour. Hour and 45 minutes. Maybe even longer. Even these, even these, um, these games here, they can go on for such a long time. They can. Uh, especially these these championships and these tournaments, they can go on for two three hours because well once again people, you know these people that play them is is you know are good, so you can just see the prize pool. Look at that! Look at that prize pool, everybody. That is flipping crazy. Now of course yes you can spend some money to help yourself out, but that's just you know what you do so anyways let's go to learn and let's let's click on this mechanics and let's let's see what uh, let's see if anything has changed or stuff like that because it's, it has been a while and also to refresh my memory and to help you guys that's the whole point is to start this game because when I started it I had no idea what the fuck I was doing I'm just like oh it's just any other game jump right in boom and I died. This game is really for the hardcore people. If you don't know how to play, I'm telling you now, you're either going to get booted, kicked, downrated, which means that they that they rate you, and then that you you don't know how to play or whatever. Um, and you can lose your game. So, which is always bad. <laughs> Which is always bad. So we will see on what it sees. Come on. Come on. Any day now. Alright. So here we go. Your hero and your team. In this tutorial, you'll be controlling Luna, a, a swift hero who throws blades at the enemies from a short distance and summons dang, damaging beams from the sky. Alright, so you click continue. And the hero begins each match at their team's fountain. So now it's a fountain. Uh, if you fall in battle, you respawn here as well. Okay, so then it says movement and attack commands are issued by right clicking and where you would like your hero to go or what you would like them to attack. Camera view can be moved by touching your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen at any time you can enter you can center the view on your hero by pressing the space bar 
So this is your character, this is your barracks. Uh, we're not going to get to him just yet, but we will. Um, so we're going to click, remember it says left click. Oh, it's right click, I'm sorry. And then there you go. And then don't forget for you to move around the, uh, for you to move the map, it's uh, it's at the corner. So always point your, your mouse in the corner, wherever you want. So it's top, bottom, left, right. Or whatever, but it, it has to go to the corner. All right. Uh, this is the Radiant Team's ancient. Your ancient. It's in Dota. It's ordered to win a match, and your team must destroy the enemies. Um, ancient before the enemy can destroy yours. So, like I said, this is like the barracks almost. So this is what they have to destroy. And these little things over here, these are like they're like defense turrets almost. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, at the start of each match, players are given a small amount of starting gold. Always remember to spend this gold on items from the shop before heading into the field. Uh, and then the shop is available back at your team's um, fountain. Head there now. Alright, so... So this is one of the shops. There is many, many shops uh, throughout the map. They are hidden. They won't tell you but they are hidden so you're gonna have to go find them pretty much on your own and then um, so now we're gonna go to our shop you can either go over here or maybe not yeah you could, so okay so you can either click on him or you can hit the shop button over here items have several issue uh, is users in Dota some items heal several possess increase increases the hero power and some provides unique abilities Notice that the shops display a list of suggested items for your hero. We, we recommend that you purchase items from this list as you learn Dota. So, this is a this is what they want you to to buy. So you're just gonna right? I think. Uh, so you're gonna, so you're gonna, you right click on what they want you to buy. So these, these are your stardom. So this is a tango. So it's used to eat, use, use eat a tree or one, consume a target's tree or one to gradually restore health. So it's just to restore your health. And this is a health uh, cell, and it just restores your health faster without going into a tree to eat it. Uh, but I think this is. Uh, And then this, uh, this you can use, uh, but it will, uh, the effect will be lost if it gets attacked, or if you get attacked, so don't do it in the middle of a, middle of a battle, because that's just not going to work. And then they want this too, so it restores magma, magna to the target unit over time, if the unit is attacked, then of course the, the effect will be lost. And now they want this. You could do it here, or you can do it here. Don't really matter. Uh, this is a cricket. It adds plus two all tributes, and this is a slippery slippers of agility. So it adds uh, three agility. Uh, and then there you go. So now you have all that. Uh, some of the stunning items can be consumed to heal or restore magma. Uh, so just uh, and then here is the um. Here is the map. It's just like this this map over here, and uh, this is what we're gonna. This is what this is the most important ones of them all. Uh, there are three lanes that uh, cross the battlefield, connecting the base of both teams. Bases of both teams. These lanes are called top, middle, and bottom. So when you're looking at it like this, or just like this, in this case we're gonna use this. This is top. This is middle. This is bottom. Now, in this game, when you start to play, you're gonna see not just it. You're not just gonna see, you know, top. Well, you might see top, but what be the difference would be middle and bottom. So instead of them typing out, you know, enemies at middle, they would just put mid. Or same thing with the bottom is they will put B O T. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right. Now we're gonna go, and we're gonna go over here. 
And here on this mini map, uh, if you see, you see this over here. That is our character. That's our hero. Uh, your team's uh, foot soldiers called creeps will spawn near the edge of your base in each in each lane every 30 seconds. Creeps automatically uh, uh, march towards the enemy base, attacking an enemy unit or buildings they encounter. And we'll find out more about creeps along the way you'll, as we're going to get further into this. A wave of creeps is about to spawn. Follow them into combat. Try to position yourself so that the creeps receive any enemy attacks. When a wave of creep dies, back up and regroup with the next creep wave. So basically it's like your servants, that's what the creeps are. Um, and you use them as your pawn. So just remember that, and that is a big thing with, with the new with newbies, is don't just run out in the middle of the battlefield and and just go. You're not gonna make it. They're either gonna outnumber you or they might have an ability that you don't know of that can make them stronger than you and then could that they can win the attack or win the battle against you or they can kill you and then you have to start all the way back at the fountain so just just keep that in mind use your creeps as your advantage stay behind them the further behind them you are the better so just remind yourself of that um, and unless of course you have a close combat hero uh, then of course you would want to go with them but anything else stay stay as far back as you can alright so now we're following our creeps um, so this is the middle lane this is the river that divides them uh, my best advice is it, here you don't really matter on um, on uh, on how far you go because it does take some time for their creeps to get here and usually by the time your creeps get here their creeps will be coming here um, a really good player will they they will not pass this river their hero they won't pass their hero across this river by themselves they will wait for creeps so keep that in mind unless you want to die uh, stay on this side and wait for your creeps and then move with your creeps slowly move with them now just to let you guys know this is called a tower and this tower is just like a defense turret so enemies or creeps you know uh, or heroes enemy heroes get close it will shoot them and destroy them there is no upgrades you can't upgrade them um, and they can be destroyed they will keep uh, attacking until they are destroyed and you're gonna hear a lot of things you're gonna hear a lot of things in this game that you're not gonna be aware of or may not even know but you will learn slowly but surely so that's it so now we're gonna continue and it says whenever you strike the uh, strike the killing blow on an enemy you will earn additional bounty of gold this is called the last hit At attack enemy units whose health is low to earn a last hit now so what you you can attack these creeps um, now you get some gold but it's very little so for you to get even more gold you wait for these creeps to have very low health and then attack well not attack but then you know do an attack on them and if you get the last hit then you get more gold so just uh, uh, just keep uh, so just keep that in mind did not get that last one uh, didn't get that one last one either horrible that was even horrible uh, we're gonna run away now because they have see I just got the last hit on that one so I just got about 14 gold so that raised me to 67. Unlike last hit bounties, experience points are shared between all nearby ally heroes whenever an enemy is slain. Enemies uh, earning experience points and gathering levels, gaining levels allow you to um, augment your hero's ability. So just remember that. So even though you didn't get a last hit, 
if even if you creeps kill him or another hero does uh, you will gain uh, experience points that's what gets shared the gold does not so keep that in mind and we're gonna keep going here and I just leveled up uh, so just to let you guys know this is the this is my health and this is my magma uh, and these are different kind of uh, extra not like extra but like special weapons or special attacks that you can do some cool off a lot of them need to cool off some of them don't um, and of course these are all bindings with the key bad I think it's Q R S and W if I'm not mistaken uh, so anyway so whenever a hero gains a level they earn a point to spend towards learning or strengthening one of their um, abilities note that the ultimate ability which is a hero signature power cannot be learned until level 6 which is this one this is this last one as you can see it says next upgrade at level 6 so you won't be able to get this until you're level 6 so keep that in mind uh, click on the goal level up plus one then on a lucent, lucent beam to, to learn that ability I cannot talk today so what they want us to do is you hit this and then you have this one that your mouse with a plus on it you cannot attack you cannot do anything without it so once you do that you can pretty much choose any of these three um, my best way to tell you is don't do this in, in, in a battle um, look at your hero or a hero that you're thinking about choosing and see which one of these will better suit you at the beginning um, and then you know go on from there also this is your level so this tells you what your level is and this is your XP um, this is your attack your defense and your agility and then same thing with these these can be raised so just keep in mind um, you have a choice you can either do one of these or these uh, you get one for every level um, so just keep that in mind so we're going to do Q uh, use uh, ability first activated by pressing the key shown above the abilities icon then left click on the target abilities which require activation cost magma to use passive abilities such as Luna's Luna blessings are autom automatic always active and do not require magma to function So there you go. So you just you click on whatever that uh, that one is, and then you right click on that an enemy. Or if it's like a shower or something, then you just you do it. Um, it'll be like a circle, so you see where the attack uh, area is, and then you go on. Uh, towers have a lot of health and launch powerful blasts at the enemies. Generally, generally they target the closest opposite unit, then continue attacking units that a uh, un attacking unit that unit dies or leaves its range if a tower begins attacking your hero you should retreat before you take too much damage destroy the tower to complete this tutorial so you wanna destroy them and just keep your uh, your eye on your on your creeps cause you surely don't want to uh, a new hero has entered the battle so this is their enemy so keep in mind uh, you know they do have they do have heroes also Razor is joining the enemy and will try to defend his team tower with his lightning abilities so just uh, keep that in mind and trying to get gold Usually you can't do your special abilities as I'm as you can see I'm getting uh, attacked over here. Ouch! So you know you're taking a lot of damage from the tower. Back up. So uh, and that's what I get for not backing up enough. Uh, 
Uh, depends on the ability. Some may drain magma, some may drain health. Uh, you know, some may, uh, um, some may, uh, you know, some may do other stuff. So, oh my god, this is horrible. Uh oh. I gotta get back. Uh, um, so yes, you can attack your own creeps. Keep that in mind. So you just attack them, you know, you try your, you know, you try your best to, uh, you know, to destroy them. Oh, come on, get back there. So as you can see, we're starting to build up gold now. Um... which we uh, which we both need so now what you can do is go to shop and uh, and uh, oh we can't buy anything else that kind of uh, we will buy this though Wow, I was not paying attention. Alright, that's what I get for not paying attention here. What I get for trying to do this. Oh, it was not very good. Alright. Alright, so let's go over here and let's see if we can uh, destroy this tower. Yeah, I was not paying attention. I was in my shop. So that's the other thing is do not, try not to uh, get distracted with the shop or do it in your battle. Uh, you know, of course it does take time for your hero to get back to where, you know, to where it was. So just, just keep that in mind. Unless you have a teleport, which we will... You know, of course, go over very shortly. And actually, what I am gonna do is do this. Come on, and I am gonna attack him. Come on. There you go. So. That, you know, like I said, it's just destroying towers and just getting up to them. That's that's pretty much what it is, guys. So, you know, that that's, you know... That's how it is. You know? So, um... So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is just, like I said, I will be doing more of these. Um, so, you know, keep a look out for them. And, uh, you know, until then, I will uh, talk to you all later. Bye.